Hi everyone, welcome to Drake Library. This module will show you how to search for a topic on the database Academic Search Complete. Where is Academic Search Complete located on the library website? To get to the library website, mouse over the college's quick links and click and scroll down and you'll see library. Click there. To get to our databases, scroll down and click on Databases A to Z. Then click on A and we'll scroll down to Academic Search Complete. At this point, you're asked to put in your NetID and password if you are off campus. Once in the database, you'll see a few search boxes. Let's search the phrase test anxiety and performance. To search this, we'll break it up. We'll put test anxiety in the first box. And performance in the second box. The AND means that your results have to include both test anxiety and performance, and that's what we will use. If I were to use OR, the OR means that either test anxiety can show up in the results or performance can show up in the results, but also both terms can show up in the results. We want both terms. That's what the AND is for. And then the NOT if we were to use not, that means to exclude that term from your search results, and we don't want to do that. So we will be using and here. Let's click on search. Notice there are many results, over 4,000. First off, we want to click on peer reviewed. If we scroll to the left, we'll see we have some limits. Here is click on peer reviewed. And that means we're looking now for academic articles and not articles from popular magazines. Then let's look at a date range to older than 2010. So we're going to 2010 to current. Okay. And let's click on search. Now we've reduced the result number a bit. One of the techniques you can use is use quotation marks around a phrase. Let's put quotation marks around test anxiety. That way the results will only have the term test anxiety in them and you won't have results that show test in one place and anxiety in another. Let's click on search. Just by doing that, we've reduced the results by thousands. To access additional information on the article, click on the article title. Here you'll find information on the author, the abstract, if you scroll down, which is also just a summary of the article. Also note the options on the right column. You can print the article, you can email the article, you can save the article. If we click back, another limiter we can use is for full text. And click on full text. And now all of the articles are full text. And we've reduced it even more. So now we can click on a title. We have all of these different tools to the right. But here we have the article. The PDF article is a scanned article of what it looks like in the journal and an HTML article is the article that has just been retyped. If you have the option to choose PDF, always choose PDF. It keeps things in context. Should you need additional help, don't hesitate to contact one of the Drake librarians 
and you can get back to the library page by just clicking on the College of Brockport on the database. Scroll down, click on Ask a Librarian tab on the website.